Yo, what's up guys? This is Mike Troid, and today you're joining me for a very different style of shiny hunting video. As you can see, I've just started hunting in Pokemon Battle Revolution, and I figured I would make a tutorial on how to hunt the starter passes in this game. Uh, before I get started, I just want to mention that this hunt and this video were largely inspired by Shiny Collector, so if you guys have not seen his video on Pokemon Battle Revolution, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Highly recommend you check that out, but with that out of the way, I'm going to show you guys how you can hunt the starter passes in this game, which is a very unique way to hunt for sure. And uh, as a little disclaimer before we get into it, I do want to mention that the Pokemon you shiny hunt in Battle Revolution unfortunately cannot be transferred into Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum, whereas the Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum Pokemon can be transferred into Battle Revolution. So whatever you hunt here, unfortunately, is going to stay in Battle Revolution, but if you're okay with that, then I'm going to show you a really cool way to hunt some Pokemon. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to start a new game. That's because every time you start a new game, the game generates two fresh starter passes to choose from. And for those that don't know, the starter passes in this game just uh, contain six Pokemon each. And those Pokemon, believe it or not, are actually completely randomized. The species stay the same every time. It's the same uh, 12 Pokemon that you're going to see. But everything about them is randomized, including shininess. So... We're basically just going to go ahead and dive into this new game as quickly as possible. And we have to watch a little cutscene. So in total, this reset takes about two minutes, which might sound kind of long in terms of reset time, and it is. But like I mentioned before, you're seeing 12 Pokemon per reset, so it's actually super, super efficient and just a really cool way to hunt. So really important here, first optimization, is that when you start a new game, um, this person here is basically going to ask if you want to do like a little tutorial dialogue. Go ahead and select Don't Listen, that'll make it a little bit faster. And then she immediately presents you with your starter passes. So you have a choice of two, one of which is Kanto inspired. As you can see it has uh, Ivysaur, Charmeleon, Wartortle, Dragonair, Rhyhorn, and Pidgeot. And the other one is Sinnoh inspired, it has uh, Grottle, Monferno, uh, Prinplup, Luxio, Goodbite, and Staravia. So those are the targets that we can hunt in this game. Really, really cool. And similar to Pokemon Colosseum and Pokemon XD, the menu sprites that you see here will actually change color and pose when they're shiny. So on this screen here, before we even select the starter pass, we can actually look at all 12 Pokemon and determine if any of them are shiny. If none of them are shiny, uh, which is the case here, then we would just go ahead and reset you know, add 12 to the counter since we saw 12 Pokemon, and then continue from there. And you're basically going to do that process over and over and over again um, until one of these Pokemon happens to be shiny. So a couple of caveats about this hunt. Um, for one, if you happen to be extremely lucky and get two full odds 8192 shinies on different passes, for example, one on the Kanto and one on the Sinnoh, uh, not to worry, obviously you can only choose one, but what's really interesting is that the game actually saves the other card in the internal memory of the game, and for those that don't know, when you beat the story mode of Battle Revolution, you get to claim the other starter pass that you did not initially choose. So if you happen to get two shinies on opposite passes, then uh, that's okay, because you can still get both shinies as long as you complete the game. Just wanted to mention that in case uh, you guys have that question. And like I said before, you can't transfer these Pokemon into any of the mainline games, unfortunately. But it is really cool that you get to play through the entire game with them. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. I know this is kind of like a strange tutorial or a strange way to hunt, but I just think it's really cool. And I'm actually going to be hunting this over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash MikeDroid34, if you'd like to join us for some live shiny hunting. But with that, guys, uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Take care, good luck on your hunts, and I'll see you in the next one.